mackerel and the blues are running all along the coast. And talk about fishing, you can't give the fish away. Everybody's lucky. Howdy folks, Captain Chris here with uh, a little how-to video on how to modify your mirror lures. Um, so here we have a mirror lure 52M808. Uh, this is standard right out of the package and uh, I will show you how to modify it like uh, a lot of the guys do around here so that it fishes a little bit differently and sometimes better. Um, so the first thing you want to do is take the screws out of these uh, screw plates here. And then just give it a little pull and that screw plate will pop right off just like that. And do the same thing to the front one. You might want a pretty small screwdriver. Uh, a precision set certainly helps. Uh, we've got some East Coast ones here that we gave away a few years ago. That worked good. Um, and then the back, you'll just uh, unscrew that just a little bit. And open that hook eye, or that, that little eye up. You're not cutting it, you're just, you're just opening it up so you can get the hook out. And just like that. Um, then, you know, he was talking about roughing up the bottom. A lot of these guys will uh, dull their lures down just a little bit. So you take a piece of uh, Scotch Brite and just rub that plug a little bit on the bottom to knock some of that sheen off and make that orange not quite so bright. A lot of guys will also hit the sides a little bit and take some of the shine off. Just like that. I suspect it started when some guy left uh, one of these plugs in the dash of his truck and it faded over time. He found out that it, it caught a little bit better. And so then to put the, uh, the hook on, which what we're replacing these hooks with are these Eagle Claw uh, L774 BKU number 6 hooks. These are uh, a lot of hooks that people use for king mackerel fishing. They're black nickel hooks and they're a little bit sharper than the regular ones. But, um, so you just slip one of those hooks onto there and crimp that shut and then tighten it back down onto the plug and your back hook is now done and it can swing freely you can see. Alright, then uh, to put to replace these hooks you take these little screw plates that they got here, these little hook brackets and slip them back into the plug and twist it around a little bit if I can get it and push it all the way down and then just replace that screw here next hook, do the same thing on the front one, push that in there good, so that screws here somewhere, or did I lose it, um, it's on the floor somewhere, oh here it is, just replace that screw in the front, Tighten that down and replacing these bigger hooks with these smaller hooks here, uh, it gives the plug more action. It lets it dart through the water a little bit differently, lightens the plug up just a little bit so that it does have more action won't quite sink as fast. And uh, these little hooks here, they don't rust quite as bad as these do here. And uh, they'll last longer and you can uh, do some real good fishing with them. Speckle Trout love these plugs. This is the 808 is probably the biggest selling plug that I, I do sell here at the store that catches lots of speckled trout and uh, to modify it you can tell by the video it's not not too hard anybody can do it but uh, it's a good way to modify your plugs for speckled trout fishing and uh, we got them all here in stock at the store so come on down and check us out we've got probably 200 different mirror lures in stock but uh, thanks a lot thanks for checking out my video and uh, come see us East Coast Sports Hey buddy, have you heard the news? King Mackerel and the
the blues are running all along the coast. Talk about fishing. 